Hey guys, man, I have missed you over spring break and I cannot wait to hear your stories of all your exciting adventures. Um, welcome back to PE Remixed. I'm going to have music in our next videos and some other fun things, but I just wanted to throw these together so you could see my face and I could see your face. Make sure you send me some pictures of, of things that you guys do and maybe some videos of the tricks that you guys come up with. Welcome to your new PE field. We got the field right over here. It's kind of hard to see because we're also doing yard work. And we've got the black tub right over here. And we've got our track right here. So I'm looking forward to a lot of fun times with you guys and uh, just get creative with what you have around the house. The good news is in all of this, um, we're not only in the gym anymore, we get to get outside. And the other good news is, is that if you want to have a longer PE and time allows and your mom and dad are up for it, you get to have a longer PE. Game called ball tag, a little bit something familiar to what you've seen before. So what you need first for ball tag is a couple of cones or jump ropes to mark your boundaries and a couple of small balls. If you don't have balls, you can use a small stuffed animal or you can take those spare socks that are laying around, wad them up, and then all of a sudden you have a nice soft ball. All right, to start our game, I'm gonna have Madeline and Issa take these cones down and mark the end of our playing field. So run it down right by. Right about there, Issa and Madeline. Our boundaries start right here where Caleb is standing. Say hi, Caleb. Hi. And they end on the sidelines of our yard. Issa, go to that sideline over there. Madeline, go to that sideline over there. The sideline is the edge of our grass, baby girl. The edge of our grass. That's Mr. Richard's grass. Come over this way. All right. To play the game, we have one person who is a tagger. If the tagger has a sock ball or a stuffed animal or a regular ball, their job is to try to tag somebody like that. If they tag that person gently with the ball, they drop the ball and they run. There's no tag backs. I'll show you a variation if you're playing the game with only two people or by yourself, okay? Caleb's got the ball first. He's the first tagger. Who can you get, Caleb? <laughs> Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. Oh, he got me. He drops the ball. I can't tag him back because he tagged me, so I gotta tag somebody else first. They have to stay inside the boundaries. Let's see what I can get. Don't run out of the boundaries. <laughs> I got MJ. MJ's a tagger now. She can't tag me because I had the ball last. She's after Issa. All right, pause the video right there if you're just playing with a few kids. If you need information for just one person and another person, come on in, have a seat, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Guys, sit down here. Pretend you only have two people playing, like one brother and a brother, or a mom and a brother, or a mom and yourself. This is what you're going to do. Take an object like a box or something like this. Yeah, like a box, I guess. Let me get another box. And you're going to place the box in the middle of the playing area. Since there's no tag backs, the person who tags and then runs is safe to run, but the person who is just tagged has to pick up the ball, touch the box before they can attempt to tag the other person. So here's an example with Caleb and I, okay? I'm the tagger first, we have to stay in the boundaries. I gotta try to tag him, so he runs. Oh, he's quick. Oh, but he's not that quick. I got him. Now he gets the ball, but he has to tag the box before he can come after me. That gives me a chance to run. Now he can come after me. All right, he got me. He drops the ball. I get the ball. He gets a chance to run. I have to touch the box, then come after him. And that's how you play ball tag. Hit pause so you can play some more. Guys, we're here for some basic ball handling skills and tracking. Ball. Like I said before, use your sock ball, use a tennis ball, use a stuffed animal. Stop the tennis. object is to not drop the ball, okay? First thing my demonstrators are gonna show for you is how to hold the ball up high. Now, drop it and then come down low and catch. Ooh, good. Yeah. 
See, there's no toss involved. Hold the ball high, drop, and catch. Five times in a row. What? Once you do it five times in a row, Two, switch five, hands. Three. Five times in a row. Two. Five. All right, now with your ball in your hand, try <laughs> passing it back and forth in your hands. Ten times without letting it touch the ground. Six, Let it touch two, the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We did ten. I did ten. Hold your ball up high in the air. Down low. As far away from your body. Far away from your body. As close to your body. As far away from your tutti frutti. Oh, that's actually as far. <laughs> close to your feet. All right. Four. Place the ball on the floor. And now make a bridge over the ball. A bridge? What are you doing? If you're like Isa, you're doing a tummy up bridge. If you're like Caleb, you're doing a plank up with the ball underneath you. Now, while you're in that position, take one hand and grab the ball. Oh, no. Now, I have my other one, mm -hmm. so it's challenging. Now, pass it around your body and switch to the other hand or back and forth between your two Wait, hands. what? Oh, no. Pass it around your body? Like oh. this. That's you have a ball, plank position, pass, 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 oh. pass. If you're in an upward position, pass, pick it up, pass. Pick it up around. Pass. Pick it up around. Pass. Pick it up around. Pass. <laughs> Somebody just attacked you. <laughs> Stand with your ball in your hands. Do not let go of your ball for this whole activity. Okay. Without letting go of your ball and without using your hands or elbows, you're going to come down to your knees. Baby. Come down to your tutti frutti. Or whatever. Come down to your back. Don't let go with your hands. Don't put your elbows down. Now sit back up without using your elbows or your hands. Come up to your knees without using your feet or your hands. Knees and then feet. Good job. Try it again. Sit down. Don't let go. Lay down. Reach your arms up over your head. Now stand back up without letting go. On the ground, jump forward and backwards over your ball ten times. <laughs> Make sure you're in your personal space. Now jump sideways over your ball ten times, side to side, 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 side. Okay. With your partner of about your size, so we're going to have Madeline and Issa be partners. They're going to use one ball. Caleb and I are going to be partners. Okay. Caleb and I are going to use one ball. We'll use the hard ball because it's going to be a bigger challenge. You're going to find one body part and try to hold the ball up. So here's an example. Caleb and I try to connect our bellies. No hands. No hands. No hands. And now we have to try to walk to that box we played the game with before without dropping the ball. Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. <laughs> no. Don't drop the ball. No hands, girls. No hands. No hands. No hands. Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. <laughs> Don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. Oh, we made it. Now Caleb and I have to find a different body part. Let's do hip to hip. Hip to hip. We got to go. No hands. Back. Hip to hip. Back to back. Hip. No. We got hands. Hip to hip. Don't let the ball drop. <laughs> Now that you've seen some ball playing activities, go ahead and try it out. Have your parents read you the different things to do or take an older brother and sister and challenge each other to see who can do the most. Remember, it's about encouraging each other to do the right thing. So if you see somebody who's watching the ball with their eyes very well, give them a compliment for watching the ball with their eyes. If it goes over here, they watch if it goes over here. If you see someone who's watching the ball with their eyes but they forget to put their hands close together, remind them, oh, good idea. You are watching the ball good with your eyes, but you gotta put your hands close together.